Greetings, this is Ahmed from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about baseline and its setting on the project. Let's to start with baseline type. What's the baseline type? Think about I'm user in the network and four user simultaneously work on this project. So each of them when open the baseline and they want to find out what is the baseline status, how they can distinct that. What's the baseline status? Let me to change the arrangement. As you see, I have five status in my project for my baseline. But if I go to the maintain baseline and want to assign this to my project, I cannot because the sort of this is not compatible with this project but how can I change it you should go to the admin menu in the admin categories open the baseline type then you can find each of session could be customized based on your requirement for instance if I want to set it over here, issue for comment, then the next one, receive client comment, the next one is issue for approval, approve as a note, and last one is approved by client so right now I have the arrangement based on my requirement if I close this tab and I come back to the maintain baseline if this baseline only issue for comment I can find out the steps over here and assign it to the baseline if you want to use the correct sort like what you have over here you can add some character like 01 02 03 04 05 and that's it right now my status is in order and you can assign this to your baseline next time when the other user in the network open the project and want to assign the baseline to the project or change it they can find what's the baseline type or status over here but in the project you can assign for baseline this for is available for comparison purpose for you so you have this opportunity to assign for baseline to the project the first one is project baseline you have more information about it in your fields but the primary secondary and tertiary baseline have less information for instance if I want to have a look on the dates for each baseline then I can find out I have baseline project late finish late start I have already baseline start and baseline finish over here but I have late and early also but about baseline 1 and baseline 2 and baseline 3 only I have the baseline finish and baseline start that is a little bit different with project baseline and other baselines also if you like to assign the baselines to your project in a bar chart area you can go to the bars most of the time we use primary baseline over here but the second baseline and third baseline are available over here but if you like to assign all 
for baseline over here you need to create another gun chart for baselines as you see i have assigned this bar chart to the primary data this is the secondary and this is the third if i want to change it i can select this over here and change the source from primary baseline to the project baseline or you can create another bar chart for your project in order to represent four baseline in the bar chart i hope this lesson is useful for you if you need more tutorial you can visit our website and enjoy our Primavera P6 and Excel lessons. We categorize these items to the intermediate report spreadsheet and advanced section for Primavera P6 and for Excel, the function and formula. If you open each of them, you receive the sort of videos over here. These videos help you to learn Primavera P6 better. Also, you can visit our YouTube channel and find out what's the new video uploaded by Global Project Control. We have some sort of playlist over here. It's subjected to the Primavera P6 Foundation, Primavera P6 Intermediate e-learning, Primavera P6 advanced e-learning and other sort of videos also you can follow global project control in a linkedin and find out what's the news and event will be held by global project control thank you for watching our video i hope this lesson is useful for you Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lessons and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.